All right, guys. So, slight change of plans. I'm located right here. This is going to be my start point. In the top of this hill right here at the base of the river is going to be point number one. So I'm going to show you guys how to plot that, how to route plan, and we'll move on from there. Okay. So we did our map calculations. Our starting point is going to be located 6769, 1612, and then our first point is going to be 6800, 1621. So we plotted it. We figured out our distance is 265 meters, and from here to here is 50 degrees grid, and our declination we looked at down here is going to be 14, so we're going grid to magnetic, so 36 degrees magnetic is going to be the bearing we got to follow for 265 meters to get from here to here. Let's try it out. So we just did our map work and we figured out to get from our start point, we found that grid and we set a point for a ridge top about 265 meters from here, okay? We found out our declination and our azimuth. So we converted from grid to magnetic. So we have an azimuth we can pop into our compass. All right, so our course is plotted. We figured out our pace count we know what our pace count is in the woods. We're in a pack. So now we're going to go ahead and shoot a magnetic azimuth and figure out which direction we need to go. We're going to put it all together to move from here to that ridge top. Okay. So our grid azimuth was 50 degrees. When we subtract the declination of 14, we get our magnetic azimuth of 36 degrees. So now we're going to shoot a bearing to figure out which direction we need to go. So I set my compass on 36 degrees and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn till my north seeking arrow is inside of the red box. Now we know directly ahead of us on this path is going to be the direction we need to go. 36 degrees for 265 meters. So I'm going to put on my pack shoot the azimuth again, and then we're gonna dead reckon our way to that ridge top. All right, so we're making our way in, dead reckoning, following our bearing for 265 degrees. Gonna keep our pace count, gonna shoot an azimuth for a tree that's directly 34 degrees in front of us. I see that there's a tree down there that's snapped in half and I'm gonna pace count it out to there and then shoot another bearing. All right, guys, so we're at the down tree. So far, my pace count's at 42, so we haven't been 100 meters yet. It's in the woods at 63. So we're gonna make sure we're still lined up, drifting a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, shoot it again, and keep moving. All right, so we just went ahead and we hit 63, which is my pace count for 100 meters. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pace speeds and drag one down. Now I'm gonna restart from zero and go back to 63. Also, we're at our third attack point. So I'm gonna go ahead and reshoot my azimuth. Make sure red fried in the shed. Go ahead and look. Got an area picked out, and I'm going to keep moving. Another 63 paces.
All right, guys. So our bearing was a little bit off. So we overshot our uh, ridge top by about 50 meters or so. So now I got to take a back azimuth and try and hit it over there. Luckily, can terrain associate pretty good. So we were going um, on an azimuth of 34, okay? Uh, 36 or other 180 degrees opposite that is 218 I think I need to double check my math but anyway south southeast is where we gotta go so we're gonna push that way now all right all right when it's when it's real real thick like this you're gonna have to make your uh, your compass checks more frequent okay so luckily I'm in an area where I know where this is because I've hunted here quite a bit. However, um, I'm literally going to push to that tree right there and take another compass reading. That way I stay on course and don't drift too much. So don't be afraid to stop more often than not if you're dead reckoning. So this is, uh, this is what I'm talking about with terrain association. Down there is a dried up creek bed. And over here, you can see the elevation change and we're going up to that ridge line. So, if you look at your map and you see these terrain features, you can set them as backstops or attack points along your way. And that way when you're checking your work, you catch it pretty quick if you start to make a mistake. Now, my azimuth was a few degrees too far that way because I ended up cutting past this ridge and started going up the next ridge. But luckily, I set that ridge line as a backstop for myself. So I knew as soon as, as soon as the elevation changed, I went too far. So then I just followed my back azimuth and corrected. And here we are, points up there. Well, what's going on guys? So here we are. We're at our first point on top of the ridge. So let's talk about what happened a little bit, how that went. Um, from where we started, we got, we plotted both of our points. We got our distance and we got our direction or our grid azimuth. We added the declination, converted it to magnetic, and then we got our magnetic azimuth to put into our compass. So we already got our pace count. We got our pace count for carrying gear and for walking through the woods. We put on our kit, took our compass, shot an azimuth, and we took off in that direction for that distance. So. Let's do a slight after action review. I overshot the point. I cut to the, uh, I didn't go east far enough. I ended up cutting it and went more north northeast. I probably could have had another fucking, I don't know, six or seven degrees in there. Um, but luckily, I set the next ridge line as my backstop. So we talked about backstops when we were doing route planning and the map reconnaissance. So when I hit that second ridge line, I know what this ridge line looks like, and I know I was I was supposed to hit a creek bed prior to this ridge line. So I knew I was at the second ridge line and I went too far. That and my pace count was about 100 meters past where I wanted to be uh, by the time it started going up. So what did I do? I looked at my map figured out that I had went too far and I went too far east. So I took my back azimuth and I corrected using terrain association. As soon as I hit that creek bed, I adjusted myself with my azimuth and found that elevation was starting to climb. So then I went ahead and pushed up that ridge line and here we are, we're at our point. So a couple lessons learned on that. Uh, for one, 
your pace count may not be exact. Um, you want to take it in as many different conditions to try and reduce that from happening. However, wearing gear and moving through thick brush can definitely add steps and you can think you're there a lot sooner than you actually are. Um, another thing, double check your work. Check your maps, check your math, check the protractor. Um, I'm not using perfect UTM maps. I drew the grids on there myself, so nothing super precise. It's a little off, but it's close enough to get me where I want to be and close enough to get out here and practice. So um, if you overshoot your point, set back stops. If you undershoot your point, keep pushing um, until you hit a backstop and then you can reassess. So terrain association, super important. That's part of the reason I'm up here now. The other thing that we learned from this experiment is that dead reckoning sucks. Um, it's very accurate, it's very precise, but it's super slow and you're going to be locked into your compass the whole time or you're going to have to stop every 25 to 50 meters or so and do another compass check. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, in thick terrain like we had here today, you may very well have to do that. It just is what it is. Um, that's the nature of dead reckoning, which is why I try to do a combination of dead reckoning with terrain association. So um, to get back, we're going to shoot a general direction towards the truck. That back azimuth of 218 degrees will take that. And then I know I have to go down this ridge line and hit a dirt road and travel down that for about 50 meters. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my azimuth start heading off in that direction, and I'm not gonna keep stopping to do compass checks. I'm just gonna move generally downhill to the ridge until I hit that road. I'll take my azimuth again and uh, take off down that road. So, real world land nav. I just wanna take a second to show you guys around this ridge top. So you can see, we're kinda at the military crest of it right now. The tip top's up there, but that's not a great place to sit. So, I don't know how well I can capture it, but, so, we're about 500 feet up, and down the bottom, in this draw way down here is a river that runs up that way, but it's dried up right now due to the drought, but, yeah. So, we're going ahead and we're going to go put our back azimuth in of 218. Rotate North Sea Canaro is in. We're going to shoot an azimuth and get to moving down the ridge towards the truck. So that right down there is the road that we're parked off of. So we followed our back azimuth and it took us right back to where we needed to go.